back to Georgia, back to Atlanta Funny how brothers and turn guys I'm a fly Priscilla, I'll just be better Don't mess my eyes by that ass The way she moves it, I can tell that she loves me Nigga can't help but to touch Smack it round a bit, then sip on some bubble Hope I'm not doing too much Strange new additions, pick up on the road Change my opinion, and change all my flaws Change my approach, no more Love in these holes, and when it rains, it pours hey. You make me feel so proud Hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog It's actually Thursday right now uh, Juno's here. Every time I say hey y'all, he goes nuts every single time. It's like I've conditioned you. It's like a trigger. But anyways, um, stop it. Oh my goodness. Um, like I said, it's Thursday. I'm actually taking the day off work, starting the vlog a little bit earlier today. Um, I'm heading to two events in New York this morning. Um, if you don't know, I live in Philly and New York is like, I happen to skip away. So, um, Events are nice because you could just skip on right up there. But anyways, technically this would be my first event. Um, but anyways, the first event is with Winky Lux, Lux, which is a makeup brand. And the second event is with Being Frenchy, which is like body care and fragrance. Uh, I'm actually bringing a plus one. Selena's on her way to my house right now. And then we're going to drive up together because uh, I don't want to go to my first event like by myself. But I'm having a little bit of outfit troubles. I have to admit, y'all. I'm trying to decide what to wear and I'll show y'all the two options but yeah I just wanted to hop on here start the vlog and then we can just go through the motions because it is time pretty much time to go it's like 10 a.m I think somewhere around there our first event is from 10 to 3 second event is from 4 to 7 and then I think we're gonna try to get food in the middle so yeah I hope you all had an amazing weekend my hair I went ahead and slicked it back I already have a tutorial of this up uh, so if you want to watch it, go ahead and watch it. Except for I did not blunt cut the pony. I just put some waves in it just to kind of have it be like a little bit messy. Uh, I hope it looks good with the pony. But yeah, I guess let me show you all the fits. And we're going to wait on Selena. And then we're going to leave. And we're going to have a good little launch day and mingle, meet and greet. Hopefully some KG creators are there or just creators that I know in general. Um, I have another launch next weekend. And that was like huge i don't think i can say yet i don't know i won't say but that one's huge and i'm so, so excited for that one um so we'll be back in new york next weekend but today is just for the day because i didn't i didn't actually um my dog sitter was busy so i have to just go up there and then come right back because i can't leave the boys by themselves so yeah let me show you my outfit for both options and then i guess let's go all right y'all so this is the fit right now this bodysuit is from aritzia it's actually long sleeve but I forgot I had this little cute bolero from Princess Polly. And I was like, I can add another layer to kind of make it a little bit more dimensional, kind of funky, kind of cute. Um, also, these jeans have a lot of like cream in them. So I thought that was really cute. But I could also just wear the whole top. Like this top came with this piece also. It's like extra neutral and cute. I'm like, do I want to be neutral out or do I want that brown in there? I don't, I can't figure it out. And let me show you my shoes. And then this is like the full body version, y'all. So it's like, I don't know if I want to do brown or if I want to do that cream. Plus, my ponytail is kind of long and I think it's cute. Also, for the jeans, they have a cuff and I have my boot on. So I'm like, I definitely want to keep the bolero on because I love how it like comes over my hand like this. I love that like stretched out look. <sighs> I don't know. Let me show y'all the cream full body. And then the fact that I'm really sitting here and this is going to be my, like the thing that I spend the most time on. So this is the cream. Also, we have a couple bag options. These three here, but I'm thinking black because I love the little gold embellishment. And I also like how it ties into my boot and it's just like so cutesy. And the gold really matches my gold jewelry that I have on. I like the black with the brown for sure. I think it's cute. But basically I'm gonna ask Instagram and then do what they say to do and get out of here. All right, y'all, I think I'm gonna go with this. I just called my mom, she said do the brown. Um, also these are the shoes, bag. So I think I'm gonna go with this. Again, bodysuit is Aritzia, Bolero, and that other piece is Princess Polly. They're both actually still linked to my LTK if you want them. Bag is Coach Pillow Tabby, just the cutest little bag in the world. My boots are those boots from Primark that I wore all those months ago, and then jeans are from Zara. So wait on Selena, and then we're out of here. Oh my God. <laughs> wait, 
Y'all look. Java's not barking at her. Oh, he kind of is. He's never met another like woman before beside my family members. Also, the only people that's or person that's ever been here is like the maintenance. So that was a man and he hated him. But it looks like he likes to leave. <laughs> well Java or Juno likes everybody, so but Java's not going crazy, he usually goes crazy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Y'all we're in the car right now, but <laughs> on deck. She put on some <laughs> On deck. I need to take one. Sometimes I get a little socially anxious. So like today is a lot of networking and a lot of just Y'all. I knew she would need but it. But the Ashwagandha is wild. <laughs> we're like 20 minutes away now. When I tell y'all to drive, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Yeah, I like I'm living gonna, I'm gonna take two. near. Maybe I'll take two. Okay. But yeah. we're in traffic right now. I hate the texture. Yeah. I hate the texture. I will make you chill. I'm gonna just swallow. The texture is so bad. It's definitely gonna make you chill. You like the texture? I don't mind it. Oh my god, the texture is awful. I'm such a texture person. Mine, mine te like have the same texture. Ugh. The flavor good though. Yeah, flavor good. But the texture, I'm about to gag. <laughs> the way she put on the texture. You just gotta, you just gotta do it. Pulling out a whole tube of ashwagandha is wild. <laughs> I didn't just want to bring it in a baggie and you're like, Bro, why this? did you bring it at all? Because I knew I would need it. <laughs> no, y'all, we're here. I just parked my car and they took it. So we're about to head to this first event now with Winky Lugs. And we just um, ordered a little lift. I'm going to reapply my lip combo in the meantime and then I'll see y'all there. We made it into the lift. We're like seven minutes five minutes away from the first spot neither of us have heard of this brand but it's a little makeup launch um they're supposed to have like um like a flower bouquet building thing and then they're launching a blush so i think we'll get to play in a little bit of makeup which i'm excited about i came a little lighter on the blush so i can put some on uh and then i think there will be some food and some goodies here um and then immediately after this, I think we're either going to eat or go to the second event. I'm not sure how much time we'll have. We'll probably only spend like an hour and a half at this event, depending on, I don't know. Like I said, I don't usually go to brand events. This is technically the first one. So I guess we'll see. Um, it's a natural nude mauve. Okay. And then you're going to be Santorini for a bronzer. Um, the cool thing Ooh, about you these bronzer too? Yes, honey. I've been really into liquid bronzers lately. You're going to become obsessed. Okay. And they're doe foot applicators, so it's a sponge doe foot. I will say if you want to have a really pretty glowy natural look, start with your finger. Use your third finger, work above the cheekbone. Um, and then you're going to layer the blush right after on the apple of your cheek and move up. Okay. Also going to get our new flower petal lip oil. Ooh, okay. These are infused with real fresh pressed flowers, and it's going to restore the humectants. So it's not sticky. Um, you can put it on. I'm on a stage right now. for like maybe a couple minutes it's not bad but i just wish the weather was nicer but that's where we're going i don't know how to say that it's french 
Tom. There you go. <laughs> instead of like recapping at night now um, but the event was really fun it was like in a little cafe it was pretty tiny and it was nice and warm in there um, now we're at I don't know how to pronounce it Selena does but we both got steak and fries <laughs> it is so cute in here <laughs> And it's so cute in here. After this, it's it's like it's 2:30 right now. Our next event is at four, but I'm low-key thinking of going to the coach store to get the um metallic, the gold metallic tabby 12. I guess we'll see how much time we have after we eat. Um, we already put in our orders. Also, it's only half a mile away, so maybe we'll do like another stop before um before the next event to make the most out of the day because it's only 2:30, and I feel like we we're gonna be gone in like an hour, or at least done in like an hour. So maybe we'll stop at a few stores or something on the way to the next event. All right, so we're done eating. Like, it's 3.13 right now. We're going to go to Hudson Yards to do a little bit of shopping. Um, the only problem is, like, if we buy something, we don't know where to put it. But I believe the like um, concierge at the Frenchie event can probably take our bags. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not from the city. I don't know this stuff. Um, but I want to go to Ritia and coach, and then we're going to go over to the event. Probably at like maybe five. I feel like that's a good time to get there, like five-ish. So, yeah, let's go to Ritia and coach. Y'all are in the Uber now, but <laughs> my life is just, it keeps moving. And I need to post this content today because I have more content for tomorrow. So I have to edit this. We have like a, I think like a 10, 15 minute drive. So I'm going to edit this little outfit um, thing that I always post. I'm going to put this on TikTok and Instagram real quick. And then we're going to go shop and go to this event. But the grind don't stop, okay? All right, y'all, we're at um, Hudson Yards now. We seen Coach coming off the escalator. Well, Selena did. So we're gonna go in there first. And then I think I'm just gonna go get a little coat because I forgot my coat. <laughs> it's cold outside, it's raining. So we'll go in here and then um, we'll mosey on our way to find me a coat and then to the event. So you can pair it like this, of course. Or Stop, that is so cute. It does come with a crossbody. Oh my gosh, wait, yes, pink or black? Um, I just got that little black one. Oh, that is so stinking Isn't cute. It oh, it's so what cute. is that called? The Joni bag. <gasps> is that new? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. Just, just came out. Y'all, look how freaking cute this thing looks. Look how adorable that is with the little C. Look at the little C. Chain, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. Like what? I don't. I can't leave this here. That's ridiculous. I can't leave this here. This is adorable. This cute. Look at these freaking skirts. Look at that dress. This is cute. I didn't come in here for this. I thought we have to come back here to actually shop because that's freaking cute. Yeah. I don't have time for this, nor do I have the bandwidth or capacity to carry it. I just need a jacket, y'all. Why is this stuff so cute? This is way better than our Zara. Girls, I'll be back next weekend to shop, though. <laughs> Zara was a fail. They have really cute stuff in here, but I don't have time to like shop around. It's already four o'clock and the event starts at four. I'm just trying to make sure it's nothing that way. I just need a jacket. But now we're about to pop the H&M and pray they got like a, just, just a jacket, just a, a coat or something. Y'all, I found a jacket. Um, I'm out of breath. <laughs> we're in an Uber now. We're going to the uh, Frenchie event. Um, I had something else to say, but I forgot. My feet hurt so bad, but this is like a 20 minute ride, so I think I'm gonna be good. Oh, my phone's dying, but the Lord came in clutch because 
the Uber has um, a little charger in here. I'm also about to charge my camera. Mm -hmm. But I think my camera should be good. If this down, I'm just use my phone. But we're heading to the last event. I should be good on content um, shortly into the event. Please. Y'all, we're at the Mesa office. If you didn't know, they own TPH, Finery, all those cute little brands, being Frenchy. So we're at like the little headquarters office. Isn't it so cute and cool? Alright, this is a Zenden. Um, this is a Frenchy, being Frenchy Zenden. So cute, oh my goodness. us the opportunity to um, put our name on some candles. They're gonna paint them for us and we're gonna get to take them home. So let me show y'all. Still a fan even though it's salty. Hate to see you with some other boy. Know you happy. Hate to see you happy if I'm not the one driving. I'm so mature. I'm so mature. I'm so mature. It got me in therapy. So tell me there's other men I knew. One night, not just one show. And if I can't have you, no one should. This is the candle that they painted for me. Is this not the cutest thing in the world? Like, y'all, they also give us this fat gift bag. It's so heavy. Oh my god. But this is beautiful. Y'all have no clue like how amazing it is to sit here and like bask in this, like to learn about your favorite brands from the people that head the brand. Like, is that not like the most surreal moment in the world? Like I'm sitting here learning about finery and I just bought 55 finery fragrances like two weeks ago. Like God is so good and it just becoming full circle like every single time. My ponytail is something, but I'm just like so grateful to be sitting here in all this abundance and like you learn about my favorite brands. You know how crazy that is? They're inspiring me so much to like create create my own brand or whatever the case may be, but like they're so inspiring and I'm so grateful. Just thank you guys so much because this is literally amazing. This day has been amazing. shoulders like this child anyways um i'm home dogs are walked java's eating his last meal juno's bugging me i'm not sure why um but y'all when i tell you i am grateful i mean grateful like that was a ball like a ball <sighs> the whole day like my life is just like it's unreal at this point like god is just amazing I'm gonna unbox this bag with y'all real quick. Y'all, they got this thing taped up. Oh, I think I might wear this tomorrow. It's just too cute. It's giving me so many vibes. Like, the vibes are there. Like, oh my goodness. The way it can just like connect like that, that's so cute, y'all. And then there's a little C on the zipper. A little, like, look how cute that little C is. So cute. I just needed pink because I was thinking about the pink tabby 12, but they didn't have it there either. But this pink one is just, that's stunning. That is stunning. And then the tag is just too cute. I feel like everywhere, every time I go somewhere, I need something to remind me of the time that I spent there. Plus that was my first brand event. So I had to like celebrate in some way. And this is my little celebration gift to myself. This is so cute. And it comes with a crossbody strap too. 
Although I think I might wear this with my silver strap. Also, Coach has a lot of like dinky chains and just like little different type of chains that you can buy for your cute little bag. So that's cute, y'all. That is cute. Um, and then um, Mesa gave us so much stuff, y'all. This bag is dumb heavy. Like they must have gave us one of everything. The personalized candle, I think, is my favorite. Oh, the Frenchie Paolo Santo and Sage smells good, y'all. It smells good. This jacket is so ugly. It's about to make me mad. Ooh, the bottle is so cute. Yo, this stuff smells delicious. Oh my goodness, the bottle is just beautiful. This stuff smells good. It smells so fresh and clean. What does it remind me of? What does this remind me of? It reminds me of Radiant Nectar from the Skin Res or the Clean Reserve. A little bit like Radiant Nectar, but just cleaner, fresher. That's gonna layer incredibly with um, Santalvani. Those two together, this smells like spring. That's beautiful. It was a lot of stuff, y'all, like a lot of stuff. 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 Like what? Oh, this is a, um, oh yeah, cozy place. Ooh, whipped caramel and bourbon candle. They gave us a ton of stuff. That smells good. Oh my goodness, y'all. I was hoping this was gonna be in here. This TPH um, body butter, cha. Stop playing. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is so thoughtful. This is so thoughtful. But yeah, I actually have work tomorrow. <laughs> so that's why I had to come home. And I also didn't have a sitter for my dogs. So I had to come on home, y'all, or else I would've stayed. But next week we have another event and I'm gonna stay. I believe so yeah oh my goodness wait hold on i forgot about um the winky luck stuff two events in one day was very eventful i got some flowers that was so eventful and just so perfect oh i saw somebody try this um this bronzer i'm excited to try it because i was looking for another liquid bronzer the applicator is so cool it's like a sponge that you dip into the thing and then i don't know i'm gonna try it tomorrow when i do my makeup before i go out and then they have a lip oil, um, a brow product, a face gel, moisturizer, and then that's the lip oil. I'm so grateful. This was such a fun day, y'all. I feel like I'm on go, and I am on go, and I never stop. Like, I just never stop. Like, I, I love the growth. I love the everything about it. So, genuinely made me so happy. But anyways, I'm going to bed, going to work, and then I'll see y'all again tomorrow. Saturday for me I didn't pick up my camera like at all yesterday uh, I had a pretty long hectic day by the way this is my bleached Aritzia hoodie I still wear it around the house but um guys oh my goodness stop it the dogs are going crazy um yeah I had a pretty hectic day like at work with the dogs da, da, da. Um, but I had plans last night um, to go to dinner and then to go mini golfing and I ended up doing it But y'all I was rushing so hard to like get ready and all that stuff and I was supposed to film my outfit da, da, da. It was just a whole bunch of mess, but I was just like, you know what? Let me take a deep breath and let me just not I was like, what is it gonna be like to just take the day off of filming when I'm like doing something for a content opportunity? So that's what I did. I left my camera at home. I did not film a single thing on my phone on my camera on my anything It was nice to just like not that I don't live in the moment when I'm filming because I do, but it was nice to like not have to worry about getting content while I was out like doing an activity. N nice to not have to carry a camera around. Nice to not have to make sure I got the TikTok content and the YouTube content at the same time. It was nice to just be in that moment and just, I don't know, enjoy it. So I did enjoy it and then I came home and I went to bed. <laughs> And now it's Saturday morning and I'm planning to go to the mall in Sephora because every time I go to Sephora lately, they have nothing that I need or want. So I'm going to go to a storefront like standalone Sephora that I know of and they usually have everything I want. And then I'm going to go to the mall because I need something to wear to this event next weekend. Um, just because there's like a little bit of a dress code and I want to, 
Like I want something cute. I might have something already, but I want to make sure I'm covered. Like all bases are covered. Um, also, I think I just want to pick up some more spring clothing items in general. Um, I feel like every time I've gone to the mall, I've gotten like two or three things, which is nice. But like I want to, like I want a haul of things. Like I just want to find things so I can continue like to wear them. Cause like this morning I was in my closet trying to find something to wear today, and I'm like. Girl, where your clothes at? And I know y'all probably like, girl, you have a lot of clothes. And I do, but it's just like, I want to refresh almost. So, um, anything I can find, I guess I'll get. But yeah, those are, that's the plan today. And then I'm linking with Selena again. And we're going to get some food after we shop or before. I don't know. Probably after. But yeah, let's have a good Saturday. I'm vlogging now. Sorry about yesterday. No footage there, but... Today is a new day, and then tomorrow we're going to do our little reset. My apartment's pretty clean right now, except for my closet, because when I was going to the city, y'all, I was rummaging through, and I was rummaging through yesterday, trying to find some more. It was like, girl, my closet is just a bunch of clothes in there um, that need to be hung back up or folded back up, stuff that I just didn't wear. But yeah, y'all, I guess let's go ahead and get it started. I can go live. I haven't been live since last weekend, and I miss my girly pops. But, oh my gosh, y'all, I was just over here taking this little picture of these little items for my A. Wilkie archive page because, I don't know, I need to post on there more. But I pull all my, like, little girly pink and purple items. Like, tell me this isn't a moment right here. Like, this just makes me so happy. All the pink and the purple bag. Also, I need to find an outfit to wear with that. But I think I'm going to wear this to next weekend's event because they have some pink in the dress code. And I want that pop of color. If I don't do the color in my outfit, I feel like that's going to be a real cute bag to carry to that event. Um... I think I'm going to try to carry the purple one today. Either purple or the little black one since I haven't worn them yet. But these are like my favorite items just in general. But I just grab them all here so I can get a little photo op moment because it's just pink and girly. By the way, that brown girl jane I'm wearing today. That smells so good. But let's go ahead and try to find something to wear and do some makeup and then eventually get out of here. All right, y'all. So I think I chose an outfit. But while I'm in here putting my necklaces on and it slips out of my hand and falls down the sink. It's always something. Last Saturday, I got locked out the bathroom. This Saturday, I done <sighs> dropped my necklace down the sink. And I tried to catch it, and I was like, oh, I got it. And then it just fell right down in there. <sighs> so I think, I mean, maintenance isn't here right now. But, like, when they do be here, I think I can just call them and tell them to take the pipe apart from the, like, underneath and get my necklace out. So I'm not going to use the sink so, like, the water doesn't wash it down. I'm going to just use my other sink in the meantime. Cause I want that necklace. Um, the little circle one, you know, how I always wear the hard circle in a bar. Circle one gone. But let's do some eyebrows. Before I do my brows, I'm just gonna do my hair. And by do my hair, I mean just like put my bun back in and fix my edges. By the way, I took that ponytail out. Child, the hair was like, it was tangling, it was getting on my nerves, so I just took it out. Um, but I'm just gonna put this back in a bun cause I wore it in a bun yesterday. So I'm just gonna tease it to give it a little bit of volume. Uh, in the bun a lot of people be asking me if I add hair to my buns and no I don't I just tease it I, I think I added hair one time though like when, my, when I first got my hair cut or something like that like if I do a fresh haircut sometimes I do add hair to make the bun a little bit bigger but my hair grew a little bit more so I don't really need to add hair um, but I always add hair to the ponytails obviously I'm trying to figure out how I'm wearing my hair next weekend I don't know, I might, I might just wash it and straighten it. But anyways, tease it and then I just do, I don't know how to explain this. I just kind of take it and gather it and then put the rubber band around it if I feel it looks good. I'm going to tie the band around twice and then I'm going to play with it a little bit to just get it how I want it to be. I like when it's like pretty messy. Honestly, if I can get it the first time on there the first time. I'll be happy, but sometimes I'll have to do it like two or three times, but I'm trying to see. I kind of just like poke at it to see if it'll like unravel. If it doesn't unravel, I just leave it. And if it does unravel, I'll just do it again. And like this piece, I'll probably just like either wrap it around or pin it or something. And just kind of like leave it messy with those little spiky pieces out. Actually, I'm going to redo it. I don't like the way it looks. So I just play with it until it's like to my liking. And then for my edges, I'm just going to add some water because they already have product on them from the day before yesterday. I added water yesterday too. 
So I might do a little bit more product, but once the product's on there, they only just need be needing to get some water on them to create an emulsion. You know, I'm talking slow and moving slow because I'm full and I have the itis. Every time after I eat, I'll be wanting to lay down, but I'm trying to not do that today. But yeah, my circle necklace is gone, so I'm a little upset, but I think I can get it back. I think I'm wearing my, I'm so random right now, I think I'm wearing my sweater like this, but I don't know if I like this necklace. This one is Kendra Scott, and I never wear it, but whatever. Anyways, back to the bun. Maybe I'll tease a little bit more. So yeah, I'm just gonna like, you could put the rubber band right on there like that. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I'll like bring it around town a little bit and wrap it and kind of just do it very messy and then gather it and rubber band it. I think I'm gonna do it like this and hopefully it looks good because I don't wanna do it again. Oh my gosh. So yeah, this I'll just take and I'll pin it to the base of my pony because I'm not doing it again. All right, this is the bun. All done. Don't look at my head shape. I'm taking this necklace off. I don't like this one. Maybe I'll put on a coach necklace or something. Actually, you know what I need to do? Buy some more jewelry anyways. I mean, I'm not saying that it was okay that it fell down the sink, but I definitely want to buy some more, some more jewelry. So, anyways, I'm just going to take some water on my edge brush. Make sure it's not too much. And then I'm just going to go in and flatten these hairs. And once I like them, I'll leave them alone. I kind of like the messy look a little bit today on the edges. Instead of just having them like so poised, like normal. I normally have them so poised, but this side I really don't need anything. Honestly, this side kind of stuck. This side I really just need a good little brushing. Got a, a tiny little widow's peak here. That I'd be trying to like sweep away, but sometimes I just let it be, or sometimes I'll like swoop it up. Very tiny widow's peak, but I guess I'm done. <laughs> so let me do my brows now. All right, so for brows, I'm gonna use the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil. Everyone always asks me uh, how I do my brows or what I use Morphe Micro Brow. I've done this a million times on YouTube. So if you don't want to see it again, just like fast forward this part. Um, but I know there's always like new people. But every time I wear an eyebrow, somebody's like, how do you do your brows? Can you give us a brow tutorial? <sighs> so I'm here to do it again. Um, this one is in the shade Cold Brew. I usually don't care what shade I get. Uh, just that it's dark brown. But I'm not even explaining what I'm doing. Y'all, I'm going in with a super light hand on the top of the brow. I kind of brush them up a little bit fluff them out and then I just go in with a really light hand on the top to just make that shape that I want kind of the shape that the brows are already in but just filling in some of that sparseness to get them a little bit like darker and then I'll just keep brushing and fluffing until it's like how I like it and I'll do the same thing on the bottom of the brow also but I like to do the top first I don't know why and I always like to do the left eyebrow first and then I'll move on to the right one but it's like super simple and I really like this product because it's very inexpensive but it's like it works very well compared to like the Anastasia brow pencils those are like 25 bucks or 20 bucks however much they are and this one's like eight dollars so a win-win but I'm gonna do the same thing on this side first and then I like to do the bottom I like to do the top of both of them and then the bottom of both of them but super, super, super easy. I don't conceal my brows or anything like that because I like them to look like natural. Um, so I'll just kind of just go in with the feathering white motion with the pigment on the pencil. And they always end up how I like them. All right, so once my brows are like filled how I like them, I go in with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I have two of them. I'm trying to figure out which one is old and which one is new. Oh, okay. This is the new one. Okay. But yeah, uh, I really like this brow gel because it actually freezes my brows into place. I actually uh, used to use the Anastasia one. The brow, the brow gel. The brow freezes something else. I think it's that wax stuff. But I used to use that too. 
Um, but the Anastasia one is not, is not bad at all. I just really like this applicator uh, on the Benefit one. So this is the only one I use. It has a side where there's like a really short, dense bristles and then another side where there's like longer, more fanned out bristles. Um, and I use both of them. I like the fanned out bristles for the front of the brow, I think. Also, when you use this, it may not feel like your brows are getting coated in a bunch of stuff because, I don't know, I think the bristles are just unique in that way. But I promise you, your brows are getting coated and they will freeze into place like they will get hard. Also, what I'll do is take the very tip of it and I'll take the product and put it all on the tail of my eyebrow because that's where the hair is like the most curly at and I need it to sit down. Uh, if I don't do this, my brows will literally stand up all day. So I just take that extra product <clears throat> and like pack it on the tail of my brow because they're like super curly. And yeah, that's it. All right, y'all, I'm live now. Uh, I'm going to try to keep my camera rolling while we do some makeup here on live. And yeah, hopefully I don't change my outfit. If I do, everybody on live will help me choose. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, makeup is done. Um, I had to charge my camera in the middle of that. I'm sorry, but... The Winky Lux bronzer is absolutely stunning and it just melts into the skin. I'm going to show y'all right quick the little applicator it comes in and stuff because this is beautiful, like, like gorgeous and it just melted right into my skin. So this is it here. I'll set my camera up right quick so y'all can see the applicator because I need y'all to experience this. You know what's something good. I got to put y'all on every single time. I'm not a gatekeeper, but... It has like a little sponge that you basically just dip into the thing. So I just like drew a couple dots onto my cheek and it blended out seamlessly. If you were on that live, you can attest like you saw how beautifully it just like blended out and just melted into the skin like that. I don't know how much this goes for, but I know it's affordable because they sell it at Target and Ulta. It's not expensive. Um, but the but the blush is the same vibe. I didn't use the blush today. In fact, I actually went in with Juvia's Place Sweet Berries in this purple shade. Eat, like this together is eating it's so good together i would highly recommend this one uh, like i said in the on thursday i think i had never heard of winky lux before my um my manager sent me the event was like hey you want to go to this i'm like sure of course which i got them eat like this and the juvia's place gonna always eat but let me show you my outfit all right y'all this is the fit um this cardigan is from h&m it's so old i got this probably like a year and a half two years ago um uh, actually I might have had a YouTube channel when I got this. I don't remember, but I remember doing a little get... No, I didn't have YouTube. Never mind. Scratch that. <laughs> I remember doing a little get ready with me in my like first couple TikTok videos with this sweater. I styled it completely differently. I've been really into the off-the-shoulder type of cardigan look lately, so uh, I just buttoned it up and kind of just let it fall off my shoulder in the way that it just wants to fall. Jeans are Zara also... These are probably two of my oldest purchases, honestly, um, that I have right now. But these jeans are like one of the first pair I've ever gotten from Zara. They're so old, y'all. They don't have any tags on them, at, like, at all. Everybody always asks me to code to these. These are my old faithful Zara jeans, y'all. I'm wearing these till they literally, till the butt crack fall apart, okay? Like, my behind has to fall out of them for me to stop wearing them. That was a lot. <laughs> um, I'm wearing my Sambas, and then <laughs> I have on my Coach Tabby 12 today. I just wanted to keep the color going, bring some liveliness into my outfit. So, um, I'm wearing the purple Tabby 12. Plus, when, when else will I wear it? I need to just wear the stuff that I buy. Necklace is gone, fell down the sink, so we're gonna see what we can find today. But anyways, let's go. All right, y'all, I made it um, in the car now. I'm on my way. But while I was on live, um, we was talking about the Sephora sale, and I was under the impression that the Sephora sale this time, hopefully, okay, cool. The Sephora sale this time was gonna be like, you know how they be having them sales where it's like, only Sephora line items are 20% off and like five things be 20% off, so it's not even worth it. And you just, you should really just get what you want whenever you want and pay full price. But I heard everything was on sale. So I'm finna wait until next week. Uh, we can either find a Sephora in, in New York and go there and get some things or I can wait until I get back home. But if everything's gonna be 20% off, baby, I'm, I'm gonna wait because I was gonna get like six or seven things and six or seven things in Sephora is six or seven hundred dollars. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna wait. Um, but I am looking for some clothes specifically an event for or an event uh, an item for the event on the weekend um it there's like a color code so it's like purple pink yellow or like white cream or sparkly whatever so 
I can either wear that pink off the shoulder top and keep it simple, but I could. I also kind of just want to do a little bit more and like look real cute. So I might get something with sparkles. I also have a sparkle shirt at home that I could wear. But honestly, I'm just going to see if I can find anything um, cute. Maybe a, like a pair of colored heels or some colored earrings or something like that. Like a pop of color and maybe something white. I'm not sure. But I'll just see. But yeah, I'm going to wait on Sephora. But I'm sure Selena's like already closer than I am. So I'll see y'all when I get there. Alright, I am here now. Uh, first stop is probably going to be Zara. Uh, after that, I really, I don't know. I feel like I'll really only be in one section in this mall every single time. I want to try free people because I've been seeing so many free people items like on people and they look too good. But I think they get them from online because ain't no, ain't no way they get them from the free people in here. Like there's no way. Like every time I go in there, it's just giving me green beer casserole. Like, but I'll be seeing people with their cutest stuff. And in the comments, it'd be like, they got it from free people. And I'm like, what? What free people was that? Had to be online. But I just don't like online shopping very much. So I might make my way over there. That's just really far, so I might have to drive. But let's see what they have. All right, I'm gonna check um, Mango first because I completely forgot about it. But I don't know if they're gonna give today. We gonna see, Selena's here. Let's see what they're gonna give. Oh, that green jacket, cute. Like the first time was a hit. She said if you spend 220 or more, you get 30% off your whole order. She basically just said that it was free. I found this so cute. This is so adorable. I'ma try to find some more stuff, but I don't know if I can get up to 220. But she said 30% off, so that's basically free. Y'all, I found these red glasses. These are so stinking cute. Everything in here is kind of cute today. They kind of re-up from the last time. One of these other stuff probably Zara. I don't know. I low key can wear that top, that little cream top to the event. That's like right on theme. But I just need a good pair of pants to go with it. And I think I'm probably gonna wear boots because it's still cold outside. Oh, the fitting room line is way too long. So I'm just basically holding up to my body to see if I can fit. I found some of those marine straight pants in brown. So I'm gonna grab those. I think I can fit these. I know I can fit these actually. And I think I'm gonna wear this with the top I just got from Mango to this event. I think that'll be really cute. And Selena's gonna try on her vest. <laughs> Through everything. What's this? top for ten dollars and it's got like flare sleeves also found this top it's like a cute little sweater i'm getting both of these we're in the sale section right now looking through um they be having some hidden gems in the sale child i put my bags down we getting down and dirty so we are finished in the mall y'all i actually got a lot of stuff i got a lot and i can mix and match too i got a lot um 
but we're going to Nordstrom Rack because I want to look for a little bit more jewelry. Oh, my mom's calling me. Nordstrom Rack, Ulta, and Kuma. Let's see what she's talking about. Hey, girl. Let's see. What you, what you doing? <laughs> yes. What? Yes. Shopping. Huh? You shopping? Indeed, I am. And what you get? First of all, look at my blush color. I use purple today. Isn't it beautiful? Purple? Yeah, isn't it gorgeous? What you mean purple? Why is my purple looking? It's like, I know, right? Because it, it goes on like like a berry pink color. It's called Sweet Berries. Isn't that so pretty? That is pretty. That is gorgeous. Yeah, that is pretty. Y'all, if you didn't know, they have really good jewelry. I get a lot of my pieces from here and I really like them. I just found these. I'm trying to decide if they're cute or not, honestly. I can't really tell. That little back piece look kind of funky. But I kind of like the front. I don't know. They're only $30, so that's a steal. But I don't know. I probably won't wear them. <laughs> Y'all, I'm going to finally try the Milani Cream Bronzer. I got Spicy Season 130. So hopefully that'll be good. I think I'm going to go get that NARS powder that I was looking for last week in Sephora. The bright press powder that I want for like underneath my eye. Somebody said Huda makes a good one, but I know they don't have Huda in here. So I'm going to try um, NARS real quick. I'm going to show y'all which one I'm talking about. I don't know if they have the soft matte perfecting powder. I don't see it anywhere. I see the Laguna bronzer. Yeah, I guess they don't have it. I don't know. That's weird. We're at dinner now. It was a little cold, so they turned the fire on for us. To toast. It feels real good though. I don't know what you've been told. See, I am not your random. But if there's one thing that show you everything I got and tell you why I got it <laughs> anyways let's do it I feel like I got a lot I don't know why I feel like that but I I don't know let's start with what's in my hand I got a couple necklaces from Nordstrom Rack because sometimes I like going there to get like little cute pieces um there's this one it's like a little link it's really cute and little in honor of my necklace falling down the drain why not just Get a couple of little dainty ones. I will get my necklace out of the drain though. I'm just gonna call maintenance on Monday. Um, and then Ulta, I ended up with the, I got this Charlotte Tilbury Air Blush Flawless Finish, dang. Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. Um, I have been talking about getting a NARS powder to just lightly set up under the under eye. After I apply my blush, I usually bring it down too far by mistake cause the brush is kind of big like up in here and so i usually take some concealer to kind of get some of that pinkness out of there but what i'm gonna start doing is going in with this powder in those areas and right up under my eye to just brighten it up a little bit um now i hope this is the right shade i got number two medium it's pretty light but the lady in sephora last week was actually telling me or whatever week that was to go for a yellow tone like a yellow powder and i was looking at one from nars the soft matte perfecting one and they too fancy. Well, this is fifty dollars, so they better be fancy. Um, I was looking at one from Nars, and it was very yellow, and I was a little bit scared. Whereas this one is yellow, but it has a little bit of warmth in there. And I feel like this would work more than that yellow Nars. I feel like this is gonna be great. It's like buttery soft too. This is the cutest packaging ever. I think I'm gonna start getting some Charlotte Tilbury stuff because she's she eats like she eats. The products are good, y'all. And by the way, I need to talk about the setting spray that I bought um, last week. 
I think it was last week. I've been using it, y'all. I understand the hype and I'm sick. I missed out on it this whole time because that setting spray is good. It literally will lock your makeup into place and have it like it won't move. Like it don't move. My makeup looked like this earlier. You can't tell me it didn't. When I just set with my Caudalie spray, I feel like my makeup is just, it either dissipates off my face or just moves. Like I, she's frozen in time. So I would highly recommend that. Um, and then I got the Milani bronzer in the shade spicy season this should be the perfect shade for me I'm so excited for this because y'all have been raving about it telling me to buy it and then i got another color pop gloss in clear i really like this it's a plumping gloss i use this over my buxom glosses um that's the only lip gloss i was carrying tonight i really like it it's that tingly feeling because it's plumping but if you like a good gloss that's going to stay on your lips and like inexpensive the so juicy color pop plumping gloss is amazing i usually get clear but they have a bunch of other shades if you like a gloss, trust me on this one. It's good. It's only like $8. It lasts. Like, it lasts. It's not like one of those lip... Sorry, the dogs are playing. Like, those lip glowy balms and stuff. It's not that. It's a lip gloss. So, if you like a gloss, try it out. Um, and then Mango. I ended up with these jeans here. I think that these are so cute and cool. They fit really well, too. And I usually can't find any jeans in Mango that fit me. So, those are nice. And then I got this cute you guys why are you hitting my bag how are you hitting my bag i got this top because i like the little off the shoulder tops i just really wanted one in black plus i needed to meet my 220 mark for it to be 30 percent off and then i got this top because i loved it so much uh when i wore it last week in cream and black so black and cream that's cute and then i got this top i think i'm gonna wear this to the new york this weekend or next weekend um it was cute. Oh, you know what? I probably had it on. No, I didn't have it on background. I had it on right. So yeah, it was real cute. I mean, y'all saw it in the store. And yeah, it was really cute. All right, let's move on. All right, so from Zara, um, they have these like stretchy white tops. This is a medium, so I hope it fits me. Um, but it was only $10. Really nice, thick quality too. So I picked that up. Um, I saw Face Over Matter with these jeans on and I've been wanting them, but I couldn't find them in the store. I could have easily ordered them, but I didn't. But I found them today and they're such a cute wash. Like that wash is like, it's like green almost. It's beautiful. I like that a lot. Um, and then the marine straight pants from last week, I really love like the way they fit me. So I picked up a pair in like brown, which is, I don't know if that was smart or not because I got that khaki color, but this one's pretty dark. It's like a rusty stone brown i don't know i like this color actually let me get the exact name of the color oh these were on sale i didn't know that these were only 30 dollars. i didn't know that that's nice okay these are in the shade copper if you're interested and then h&m had a lot of little like cute tops on sale so i got a couple of them i've been wanting more just like simple tops to just put on with a jean or something especially with it being spring and like you don't have to wear a jacket but i would prefer to wear long sleeves um so it's like this one, it's like kind of sheer, very stretchy, and then the sleeves kind of flare out, and I think that that is so cute. I like that a lot. That'll be cute with those copper pants. All this would be cute with those copper pants, or even those green ones, oh my goodness. And this little like knit top, $30. I thought it was so cute. Like that is so cute. And the sleeves are nice and long, and these, sleeves oh this sleeve has a slit in it i didn't even know that that's gonna be cute i like the slit and then this green one same vibe but the neckline is actually very different like a knit top almost but the neckline is like it kind of goes across but like i guess it'll sit like right there and then the sleeves are like really long and have a little bit of a flare on them i think this that's really cute and then one last thing from aritzia it's just a plain black top, but I thought it was just like so cute. I wanted this other top that was kind of like a cute cut, but it had makeup on it. They didn't have any more. Didn't want to order it, um, but I really been like it. Wait, why did I buy this if I bought that top from Mango? We might have to reconsider because this is the exact same shirt. I might take this back or take the one from Mango back because this one low key cuter than Mango. Um, it's like that. And it has a collar. It's a little cropped, long sleeve, but... This low-key might be the same shirt. Let's pull it out. Yep, 
Yeah, this is almost the same shirt. Let me know in the comments. Do you think I should keep this one? Keep both of them or return one of them? Because they both have a collar, both ribbed, long sleeve, like shirts. I don't know if there's a point in having both. I mean, there might be because you can never have enough like just cute black tops, to be honest with you. Um, but let me know what you think. First person to comment, I'm going to do what you say. <laughs> I'm going to take it back or I'm going to keep it. First comment I'll read uh, about that. But that's everything. Uh, I think I'm going to go back on live to just chit chat a little bit before closing out my night because I don't know if I'm going live tomorrow or not. So, yeah, let's do that. Hey, y'all. Happy Sunday. This dog is funny. He's just funny because every time I say, hey, y'all, it's like it just I've, I've conditioned the response in his head. Cause like every time I say hey y'all, I get excited. So I think he can feed off that energy. Dang y'all. So yeah, anytime I say hey y'all, Juno, I guess just feeds off that energy and kind of turn up a little bit. But hey y'all, happy Sunday. Oh my goodness, you so precious. Yes, you are. You both are. Um, happy Sunday. I'm not gonna say happy Easter because I don't celebrate Easter. I celebrate the resurrection, and I believe that the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ are and Easter are two different events. Um Easter to me is like the worshiping of a fertility God, in my opinion, is not about bunnies, rabbits, Easter's, jelly beans, whatever, baskets, whatever. Um, it's about the resurrection. And the resurrection is a power, not so much a day, in my opinion, again, but um, do whatever you want, of course. But that's what it is for me. It's a resurrection. It's about resurrection today. So um, I've already attended online service. Again, a lot of people always ask me where I go to church. Da, da, da. Uh, my church home is in Michigan, and I'm in Pennsylvania right now, so I do virtual service. But anyways... I'm, I've just finished my bed. I just changed the sheets and everything. If you see that closet in the background, we're about to get to that next. It's a mess. Um, between me going out Friday night, Thursday night in the city, and like shopping yesterday, I need to hang up my clothes again because um, I was just tossing them on the floor, to be honest with you. So I need to do that. My kitchen is relatively clean. I just need to wipe stuff down in there. My couch really hasn't been sat on in like days, to be honest with you, because I've been working um, and then cooking and honestly going to bed. Like I've been in my bed a lot, so my couch really hasn't even been sat on. My office is clean. The desk needs to just be wiped down and every like area, surface area of the floor needs to be vacuumed. So I'm going to get to that also. Um, and I can't forget to call maintenance to get my necklace out the sink tomorrow but i was thinking of cooking today just because i haven't cooked on the vlog in a long time y'all i've been eating out like almost every weekend it seems like i've been cooking during the week but y'all know i don't film during the week so yeah i i'm thinking of cooking sorry they're biting each other i'm thinking of cooking today yeah i will um so i just need to go to the grocery store to be honest with you because i don't really have nothing in my refrigerator so we need to make that a thing that we do, but right now I'm about to get up and finish cleaning everything that I need to clean and we'll eventually get to that. So I guess let's start in the closet because my room is done with like the new bedding. So let's start in the closet and I'll work my way out there in some form or fashion. So let's go.
shifts to the right. So us and brick boys got it all night. These lame ass niggas ain't got no fight. Kick in my door, we gon' shoot out all night. <laughs> cleaning up uh, I just switched out my hoodie or switched out my crew neck for a hoodie which by the way I feel like my Ritzy stuff is just shrinking like this hoodie was not this small before but anyways I'm just about to do the lightest makeup just fill in the brows a little bit and add a little bit of tinted moisturizer and concealer um just because I look like a shellless egg right now no a yolkless egg whatever you go ahead I look, I don't know, but I'm just going to put on a little bit of makeup, so, just because. Uh, I might run a Target at Home Goods also, depending on how I'm feeling, but, yeah, I don't really feel like going to, like, Trader Joe's or anything today, so we're just about to hit Wegmans to get what we need for dinner, and some other stuff to, like, carry me through the week, um, and I should be good to go, and then I'm going to come back home and cook, because, like I said, I really haven't cooked on the weekend in a minute, so, oh my ice machine's back on. Cool. I just got rid of all the ice in my freezer and like dumped it down the um, sink. Just because sometimes I just need fresh ice. Um, but anyways, I'm going to put on a little bit of face and then head to a couple stores. Maybe just one. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, and I'm going to keep it chill. I'm not doing a little outfit. Get ready with me for TikTok or Instagram today. I was just on myself a little bit. Sometimes I'll be on myself like about... How much content I'm getting on the weekends because I like to get as much as I physically and possibly can before the week rolls around and I have to start working again because it's just not feasible for me to get content during the week but I was just on myself like girl you need to put on an outfit do some makeup and like get the content for the reels and the tiktoks I'm like no you don't I can like take it easy it's okay to take it easy so I want to take it easy today I'm not gonna put on a nice outfit and get outfit content today I'm just going to wear this hoodie some leggings and go to the grocery store and get what I need and come back here and cook and feed myself instead of just like running around getting content for everything. Um, I'm just gonna do that instead and just take it easy, watch some TV later on today and I should be good and have a nice setup for the week at least since I'm like pouring into myself today on Sunday. All right, y'all, I'm all ready to go. I just want to show you my outfit real quickly because I mean, I wanted this to be simple, but somehow it came together to like be an actual outfit. I don't know. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> but my hoodie is from Aritzia. It's a perfect fit when it's in modern taupe. Jacket is Zara. Um, actually, these cargos are also Zara. And then I'm wearing my Asics, and I'm going to put on this bag just because I want it to be kind of cute. Um, but yeah, I guess let's go to the grocery store. I just realized like home goods and stuff probably won't really be open. And if they are, they probably have already closed for the day. Look at Juno Java. Um, so let's just go to Wegmans and then I'll come back and cook. All right, I am back home. I have the groceries here on a cart. Thank God for carts, like apartment places supplying carts because if it was up to me and my strength alone, we wouldn't be able to do it. Um, so I decided to make some braised short rib. I know it's a little late in the day for that. It's five o'clock right now and they do take a minute, but that's what I want to eat. So I'm going to immediately start um, so I can get them on so they can start braising. That's the longest part. To be honest, like the recipe is extremely simple. They take a little minute to cook through. So um, I'm about to start. So let me show y'all how I do it. All right, y'all. So this is everything I'm going to be using. I've already seasoned my short rib because I'm not playing. I need to get this on the stove. Um, I usually just season with salt, pepper, garlic. Um, but I did throw a little 21 seasoning salute from Trader Joe's on there. And then in here I have onion, celery, and carrot. I actually need a little bit more onion, but I'm going to empty that out first before I start chopping them again. I have some broccolini for the side, thyme, rosemary to throw in to braise. Um, I'm going to mash some potatoes, and then I have a cab salve over there to reduce my short ribs. Uh, and then some beef stock and some tomato paste also. So um, my Dutch oven is here warming up, so I'm just going to throw some oil in there and go ahead and sear these on all sides until it's brown you don't want to cook them through just sear them and then take them off you're basically just trying to like, i am gonna sear the fat cap first to get all that good flavor in there and then um, eventually you're gonna add them back but i'll show you how i do it so i did go ahead and dust these with a little bit of flour um you don't have to do this but this will just make them like extra crispy on the outside so i'm just gonna take the first one i'm gonna probably have to do this in batches because this dutch oven is not large at all so I'm just going to take probably, I need to turn my heat up a little bit, probably two or three of them at the same time and go ahead and cook them off. Um, and then I'll 
make room for more right after this. All right, this is what we're looking like right now. I'm just trying to steer on all sides. Sorry, my vent fan is on because um, it gets a little smoky when you're doing this because I have to heat pretty high. Because again, I'm not trying to cook them. I'm just trying to sear them. All right, so I put my veggies in there and then I also took a dollop of tomato paste and kind of just mixed it around in there. And now I'm going to bring this up with some wine and some beef stock. I'm also going to put this like whole head of garlic in there while it um, braises because I like garlic and I like the flavor of it. But the short rib are sitting there. Y'all probably thinking that's a lot. And it is a lot because I like to eat short rib, but I also like to make other things from them when they're like cooked. Like I'll eat this tonight and then tomorrow I'll probably make like a short rib ragu. So I wanted to make sure I had extra for that. Yeah, and y'all know I don't like measure stuff. I just be eyeballing stuff. Sometimes people say use a whole bottle. Sometimes when I, I mean, I've done that when I've made these in the past, but when I do that, I find that I taste too much of that red wine. So I actually don't like to add a lot at all. Like that'll do for me. Uh, and then I'm gonna bring the rest up with beef stock. All right, y'all, now that this mixture is at a simmer, also I added in a little bit of the seasoning that I seasoned the meat with. Um, but now that it's at a simmer, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop those in. And after I drop them in, I'm going to put that head of garlic and some rosemary and thyme, and then I'm gonna bring it back down to like medium heat-ish. Hopefully these fit without overflowing. I might have to take some of this broth out and let it kind of like reduce itself so it doesn't like overflow. I have one more, Let's see if I can fit it. Okay, we can fit. Now I'm gonna throw in that garlic and then some rosemary and some thyme on the top. And then I'm gonna close this with a lid. All right, y'all, this has been going for like three hours-ish. Um, when it like, when the liquid kind of evaporates, I just add more beef broth. And then I also made some broccolini. So what I did was just blanch them for three minutes and then season them, put them, um, like toss them in some oil and then bake them at like 390 for a little bit. I don't know how long. And then I have some mashed potatoes back there. I just didn't mash them yet. So I'm gonna mash those and then I'll plate this and I'll show y'all. All right, y'all, this is the finished result. Um, super simple to make, but it does take a little bit of time, honestly, but the results are worth it. All right, y'all, um, I've had dinner. I'm just in here kind of like decompressing. Oh, Jabba's in the bed now. They've already gone out for the night, so um, I got Junie here. But I hope you all enjoyed the vlog so much. You should definitely try the short rib recipe. It's so good. Sorry if it wasn't too in-depth, um, but there's a lot of recipes online that you could just easily look up. Java whining because he hear me talking. Um, but anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog so much. I had so much fun at that brand event. I'm like so grateful to be in those spaces and like, like living the answer prayers is like surreal in my opinion. So I don't know. That was everything. My life lately has just been everything to be honest with you. Like I've been in awe of like the grace and mercy and the favor. Favor is what it is. Favor of God. Like God has been favoring me so much. So I am, I don't know. I'm excited. But I'm so blessed and I'm so grateful and I love y'all so much. And until next time, I'll see y'all. Bye.